Hey bag ladies and bag dudes, I'm Sarah Lawson from So Sweetness and today my husband Danny is going to show you how to attach this LED light for your sewing machine. So everything that you need is included in this box. So the LED light strip is in here, the power cord, there's also several clips for attaching the cord to your sewing machine. I want to stress before you begin attaching the LED light to your sewing machine that you make sure that the area that you will be attaching it to is thoroughly cleaned on your machine. You can use a bit of rubbing alcohol on a cotton swab or a paper towel to clean this area first and then please follow the following instructions for attaching the LED light strip to your sewing machine. Enjoy. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the light out of the package. I'm gonna put it inside the sewing machine throat area. Once again, I do have the sewing machine on its side and this is way so you guys get a better angle of seeing what's going on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eye up her sewing machine, which I can see it has a ridge down the center of it. You can see from slide my finger, and that's the ridge where we're gonna put the light on. Luckily, the screw hole is just off to the side of it. So first thing you wanna do is take your light out, put it in the circle so you can work around there. It's not gonna be you know fighting with you. I'm gonna put it to the start of the flat piece of the neck. I guess you wanna call it. I'm gonna pinch it down in position. So I'm gonna see how long this is gonna go on this machine. So I know it's gonna go there. I'm gonna go all the way across here, pinch to the next corner. Hold it taut, go there, and I know I have plenty enough room where it does not need to be adjusted so I can use the whole song light. If your throat's not as large as this one, and you're gonna like, well, this is gonna be too big for this. If you look really close to these strips, I'll get a, a different angle, but there's marks that are between two copper circles, and there's got scissor marks. You could take your scissors and cut right on that line, and you could chop uh, about a one inch increment about that you could chop each piece off. So if you size it up like I just did, you'll see that the size is either right or wrong for you. Generally, it's gonna be fine because it's got a little extra space to go around here. If you do need to cut it, don't worry about it. It's very easy to do. I'll show you later. Okay, so let's peel this off. I guess peeling off is probably the hardest part. Okay, now I got this peeled off. I'm only gonna take a little piece of it off to start with. Because if you take too much off, it may touch somewhere else, get sticky. So I'm going to start the feed at the very top of the bottom. It's almost opposite. So I'll say the very start of the throat, right in the center part where you want to get it started. Then as you're lining it up, you can see where it's going to go. So I'm going to, it's going to go right there for this. So I know that's going to be the position. So I'll hold my finger back here. I'll take this, peel it back a little bit. And I'll just start feeding this to that same exact position. And as I'm going along... I'm pressing down at every point so there's no gaps. Just feeding it slow. Then you can see the direction where it's going now. So I know I still have it in the middle. So I'm going to feed the next point to the next corner and see where I want it to go. Okay, so right there is going to be the point. So while it's still tight, I'm pushing and peeling at the same time. I'll come back over here. Let me double check, make sure my, it's not going to go too high. Keep it taut. I'm going to pull it through and then push down. And then I'll come around this corner here, pull the rest of it off. Well, make sure it's nice and tight in the corner for the other part goes down. We don't want any gaps. Now we're near the end and I'll turn around so you can see it better. All right. Now from this angle, I'll tilt it back so you can see. So now I had it off to the side to the front right here and that's going to light illuminate the front part of the machine for you. This line here is actually not the middle line, just so you can get for reference. I'll turn it this way to get a little better angle. And that way you got the front part lit up and it's illuminated that you can see in front of you. Also in the box are these little clips which will help you hide the cabling. Cable management clips, what we'll call them. And they have little peel back um, backs. You peel them off and you can stick them wherever you like. What we're going to do is we're going to put them along this bottom here. And it's going to go across the back. So let me tilt this back a little more again for you. So we're going to feed it across here, across the back. So we'll pull one at the bottom. And okay, so I peeled the back off of one. And because it's going to go down and it's going to turn to the back side, I'm going to put the opening towards me. So it's going to also hold it in position. I'm going to put it right below it at the bottom. And you're going to press against it like a three count. One, two, three. Nice and firm. And you just slide the little cable right into that holder. Now, if you look, it's in the holder holding it. And that's going to let us feed to the back side over here. 
you just tuck it to the bottom. And I'll turn it around over here so you can see the back side of it. So now we're coming over here and we're feeding it right to this channel, which is keeping it nice and tight. Let me put it back here. So the next one's gonna be right here in the back, right where my finger's at. And that one is gonna hold it nice and taut here and you won't see any cables going around. Okay, I flipped the machine over to give you a better angle. But once again, it's going around this corner. And it's got, we have a nice channel here. We're lucky enough to have it tuck inside there. So it's gonna stop right here at this channel. So we're gonna put the next one right at the end here because that's what's gonna hold it in position. So for this one, I'm gonna have the opening facing towards the top. So if it slides into it, because when the cable's gonna go in, it's gonna be pulling downwards. So position is gonna be right around this corner, right at the end of my channel right there. One, two, three. Then I'll just clip it right in the channel. And that's it. And you have a fully attached connection. Okay, I flipped it over again so you can get perspective. So now let's attach here. It's nice and taut around this channel. Your sewing machine may be different. So you want to look at your sewing machine first, determine the path that you want to go. And the best way I found was go away from me and we had this channel to use. So you're gonna have this cable now and you want to undo this little twist tie. And to attach this to a power source, you could do, you un undo it here and you'll have this little end. Inside the box, you'll have another adapter here. It only goes, if you're trying to push it and it's not going correctly, that means you have facing the wrong direction. Just turn around, it's not, it should go in pretty easy, so you're not gonna fight with it. Take it like this, plug it in, and you regularly plug it in the wall. And let's plug in the wall and I'll show you how to adjust the lighting. All right, now we have everything connected. You'll have the power switch over here. To turn it on, you just touch the switch with your finger, right on the power button, and it turns on. To turn it off, you just touch it again, and it turns off. Now, if you wanna adjust the brightness, if it's too bright for you, or if it's too dark, you wanna turn it up, if it maybe you had it set previously. All you do is hold your finger over the power button and within a few seconds it starts getting dimmer and it'll go down to pretty much nothing. Once it goes to the lowest point, it'll flip back over and you just let go and you press it again. There we go. And then now it's back to full brightness and you can just touch it, turn it on and off. And say if you do like it to leave to the lower setting, so I'll turn it back down. So now it's nice and not too bright and it'll stay at that. So if you turn it on and off, it will stay at that point where you previously set it. I'd also like to emphasize the, por the portion of the strip you're touching over here is directly over the power sign, not the light itself, but the power button itself. That's to turn on and off. You hit the above it, it's not gonna do anything. Below it, it's not gonna do anything either. It needs to be directly on the powers. It's about the, the width of your finger. You can see where it goes pretty good size, but you need to touch that directly. Also, when you're installing this, you wanna make sure your surface is completely clean. So you wanna use like an, an alcohol swab um, and it's really wipe this down so there's no oils or grease because once it sticks, it's stuck really good. And you could press it on, you know, just double check, make sure everything's nice and solid. Okay, so when I have the strip here, if we need to adjust the size, we're gonna cut it. But before we cut it, we make sure all electricity is turned off and unplugged from any outlets. Make sure there's no electricity going through here because you don't wanna be shocked and I don't want no one being hurt. So. Take a word from Danny, do not have it plugged in, please. So if you look at the strip itself, you have one end that's the, the end that's not attached to anything. In between these little copper circles, you can actually see there's a scissor mark and a black line that you can cut on. Let me take a pair of scissors. Of course, these are not Sarah's Good Kai scissors, they're some Scotch ones. They'll do the job just fine. So once we have it here, I'm gonna go right, so we'll cut a, a big portion off so you can see a cut. So I'm gonna go to my finger, I'm gonna go right to the line itself. Let me see if you can get a focus better on that. So you see them to my, my thumb. There's a little black line between the copper. I'm gonna follow that black line exactly and cut through it directly through that line. So I'm gonna to have to go to the machine and I'm gonna plug this back in and show you what it looks like once it's reconnected and shows you it still works. Okay, now that we have it cut and I put it plugged it back in, and you can see this is the piece that was cut off this end here. So let me try and turn it back on and it works. And so that would be the piece connected. I'm not gonna to touch it, but there it still works. And you can check the, make sure it still goes down in color, which it does. You can press it again and make it get brighter again. Works like no problems at all. Easy to do, just make sure it's unplugged from any electricity.